Hello, my lovely viewers. Welcome back to Miss Independent Hugin. Today, my topic will be about breaking up. Let's say, how do one best? How can one best deal with breakup? We know that break up, breaking up is something that can drain your energy. You know, you put a lot of energy in a relationship. Let's say it has lasted for one, two years, and it's now closing. It's ending. How can one best deal with it? A relationship breakup is not something easy because it's getting a lot of people depressed and actually even some people end up taking their own lives because of this why because they think they are their whole world depended on this particular person but let me ask you when you are alive the first question you have to ask yourself weren't i living before this person or this particular person came into my life i was weren't i happy i was because I was happy, that's why I attracted him to come into my life. Because in this universe, we, give, we get what we give. You attract what you are. If you're happy, you'll attract happy people. If you're loving, you'll attract loving people. And if you're mean, of course people love to start away from you. So the first question to do, or the first thing you have to put in your mind, let's, let me call it a question, ask yourself this. Weren't I alive before him? I was. Was I happy without him? I was. Now I think it's the time to accept that this person is no longer in my life. He was a visitor. He was not there to stay. He was not meant to stay and he has left. After knowing that, to accept the relationship has ended. Accept it. Put it in your heart. Know it that there is nothing more there is we are no more he's gone after accepting it let's start the journey of healing and how are we going to heal we're going to heal by number one number one we have uh, to me according to me what i do i'll delete everything i'll delete ev if that is if I think I can't handle myself. But if you think, because there are these relationships that end in just a blink of an eye. You know you've been happy with someone and out of the blue he comes and is like, sweetheart, oh baby, we need to talk. And the next thing you hear is, let's break up. Or I need a break. Or I, I, I no longer want to be your girlfriend or your boyfriend anymore. Or let's get a divorce. Let's say you're married. I no longer want to be husband and wife with you, you know? But they are this. This is why I'm asking you to delete for just for your own peace of mind so that you reach an extent of accepting that, not revisiting something that is giving you pain because the breakup, this is the person giving you pain because they broke up with you. And now you'll be seeing them in pictures and you know, you're seeing their number. You, you're like, should I call them and ask them to come back in my life? That's why I'm asking you to delete. And if you had taken photos of you and him or you and her, get these photos out of your sight. You can't, don't burn them, that's not needed, but you can get them, pack them into a box and put them far away from you for the meantime, till you get better. And until you feel you are in a, a, like a right place or a good place. But there are these relationships where you saw it coming. There you can't delete or you won't delete and you'll be fine because you saw it coming. What do I mean by you saw it coming? You had this guy you were in a relationship with, or a girl, and she started changing slowly by slowly. They, they used to call you five times a day, now they call three. From three, they go to two. From two, they go to one. And from one, they end up not calling, unless you've called them. If you don't call, they, they won't call. These are signs the relationship is ending. Uh-huh. Another scenario I can give you, you used to hang out every weekend. Now every weekend, your girlfriend or boyfriend is telling you, I'm busy, I'm busy, something came up, my boss needs me, my blah, 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 I need to see my mom this weekend, I need to do this. And these are the things you used to do together. But he's trying to stay away, she or he is trying to stay away from you. You know, you think the relationship is coming to an end. Uh-huh. You're in a relationship or you're married and you see the man who used to, let's say you married the man who used to come back at eight is now coming back at 11. you suspect he's having another woman in his life 
and you end up knowing that actually you dig and you find it that yes he's having someone else you know so if this person comes up and tells you you know i can't do this anymore i need i have someone new or uh, like i need someone new or i need us to put a uh, stop on this this is something else this is this is i can't compare this to someone who just woke up when we were happy and told me that we are no more you know but this one who has been giving me the signs and what and now finally it's telling me let's sit i believe you will grieve for one for one month two months maybe three months four months and you'll be fine actually some even grieve for only one month and they're okay because they saw it coming they were getting prepared for it you know uh-huh another thing how best can you deal with a relationship breakup Another thing I believe we can do to deal with a breakup is we have to start start by at least let's start doing what we've not been doing. Sorry, sorry guys about that. Let's start our thing, let's start doing what we 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 were not doing. Let me say since we're in a relationship we tend to always give a lot of our time to our partners and we tend to forget our friends you know you had time you had a lot of time with your friends then the relationship the relationship came in you were so busy with your man or your woman now it's time to go back to your friends and i know if they are good friends they'll be there for you because you understand if someone is in a relationship you have to understand them you don't have to tell them they no longer have your time yeah they'll have your time but it's not compared to how it used to be this is not the person you used to tell, can we go out? And they'll be like, yeah, let's go. This time they'll tell you, okay, let me first check my schedule. Let me see if my boyfriend is around. Let me see if we're going out somewhere, you know? So now go back to your girlfriends or boyfriends. Have at least time with them, you know? Uh-huh. Another thing I want to advise someone is having a rebound. Most of us, we have to, we, we tend to go into new relationship as soon as the old relationship ends. But you can't tell me that you've been so much in love with me and then you're jumping to another person just right after our relationship has ended. You're using this person to heal. Though most people, they'll go there to use them and in the end they end up loving them or maybe they even end up being soulmates. But that is... That is the smallest percentage. The bigger percentage, it does not really work out. Okay? So what do I say? I think after giving yourself time, go back dating. Go back dating. Go date. Go out there and have life. I don't see any reason why you have to be miserable. Or why you have to cry over spilled milk. Crying and... You know, you're depressed, you're just there, and you're crying for someone who is not even crying for you. They already moved on, so move on. The best thing, in, the best thing or the best way to deal with the relationship is with the relationship breakup. Move on, and moving on after healing. Heal, accept it ended, after healing, then move on. Go back, have another new relationship, and enjoy life. You know okay guys i have to stop here may god bless you thank you for listening thank you for watching me and do not forget to subscribe like and comment leave for me a comment if you need anything if you, there is anything you need to know or there is anything you want us to talk about just leave it in the comment section and i'll do a video right about it just do me a favor of subscribing like